Now this is going to be probably the last chapter, last lecture for this chapter, right? So what we have studied up till now, what we have studied up till now is the use of computer technology in the study of economics and now we are going to study the uses of internet technology in the study of economics is what we are going to study today right now as you all know that uh, internet technology internet technology can be accessed through a computer or a mobile phone right or any other device like an ipad or so now what is the use of internet technology in the study of economics is there are different websites there are different websites which provide certain data regarding the economic theories economic principles to us free of cost right so they have divided the different purposes and the manner in which internet technology is useful in the study of economics one by one we are going to see all the points of the usefulness of internet technology the first point describes or is given as tutorials now what are tutorials there are certain powerpoint presentations or short videos regarding a particular topic that are put up on different websites different educational websites are operating like you must have heard the name slideshare slideshare is a website on which you will be able to find presentations powerpoint presentations on different topics so if you want to learn something about economics different theories or principles in a very short and uh, short and sweet manner then you can go on this website and you can search about whatever topic you want to learn right and they will explain you the concept in a short and simple manner if you want to get a detailed study then there are other websites on which detailed information regarding certain topics are put up but such websites like slideshare where you can find small ppts which have approximately 10 to 15 slides they cover a topic in a very crisp and and proper appropriate manner there might be examples even in those powerpoint presentations regarding the economic theories right so tutorials are really really helpful in the study of economics second point says that we can learn through active learning now what is active learning if you learn through videos just through videos then it might not be called active learning active learning is where active learning is actually a live lecture where the communication is two ways right it is not a one way communication like one person comes on stage records a video and uploads it and then everyone views it it is a live lecture where the learner and the teacher can interact with each other right whenever there were online classes then you were given an option at the end of the video that you can ask a doubt that you can ask a doubt to the respective sir or teacher that is teaching you right so this is what active learning is so there are certain websites certain applications 
wherein you can attend live lectures given by various economic experts or management experts right and you can get knowledge about different topics of economics or management or statistics whichever field you are interested in so there are some applications namely anyone knows that in youtube also you can create a live video in youtube there are live videos then uh, in different social media apps like there is facebook instagram you can uh, go live and uh, discuss whatever topic you want right so this is how students are learning nowadays interactively active learning can be done by students sitting at home rather than attending classes offline right so youtube is one of them then there are certain applications you might have heard of the names that i am writing here they have applications and the lectures are paid the lectures are not free there might be a demo lecture that is provided to you but after that you need to pay certain kind of fees to attend such lectures so active learning for active learning there might be free sources available there might be paid sources available depending on the content you are looking for depending on the content that you are looking for third point says internet technology is helpful in providing you the necessary reading material that you require what is the different reading material there are certain pdfs word documents excel sheets that are uh, provided online at times free of cost and there are e books e journals that you can read if anyone has a hobby of reading novels and uh, if uh, he or she is traveling to some other places that every time it might not be possible that the person carries a novel along with him or her right so what they can do is they can visit certain websites which are providing e books to you right so you can download the pdf or the document there then you can scroll it on your phone and view different information present in that document and this is how the reading material can be obtained with the help of internet technology right these terms are self explanatory now numerous books are available online for reading free of cost and there are certain websites which provide e books to you few names which i am going to write here will provide you free e books good reads is a website then you have audible then you have amazon kindle right some of these websites or applications are free of cost but some of them contain paid information you have to pay in order to download an e book right so these are few websites or applications you can use for getting your reading material online now the next point the next point says that you can search a lot of information online you can search for a lot of information online now what kind of information what kind of information will you search information regarding various courses there are certain students who are confused as to what course they will take up after completing that well standard so if they want to get some information about different courses which are of their interest they can go to google and search about different courses that are present in different universities near them if they want to study abroad then they can even search for that particular university or course wherein they want to study right and if there are scholarships available or what are the terms and conditions in order to get admission to a particular university or a college all such information is provided online 
So this is our internet technology is helpful in searching different information. If you want to search different information, you can make the use of internet and search for different universities and courses. Right? Now, the next point says that you can search for miscellaneous data. What is miscellaneous here mean? It means that if you are impressed by some author or some statistician or some great public figure, if you want to search about what all activities they had done in their life, or if you want to search what all quotes they have written, what all books they have written, right? Then you can search online for such miscellaneous data. Also, Japan random search tamay karo cho. Relating with education, ये बद्दी जो वस्तु वो कैटेगराइज थाई चे मिसेलेनियस नहीं अंदर। जेपन वस्तु वो तो मैं इनफॉरमेशन सर्च करो चो। Regarding education, all such information is considered in this point मिसेलेनियस। Last point in this topic is data। Now what kind of data are they talking about? They are talking about secondary data they are talking about secondary data present here because the data that you are searching online is already a secondary data for you because it is collected by someone else otherwise if you are creating certain data by yourself by doing surveys then it is called a primary data but when you are using already collected data for certain purposes it becomes a secondary data, right? So, lot of secondary data is available on the internet which will be useful to you in doing different kind of jobs, different kind of works, different kind of projects, different kind of presentations, right? Different kind of research. So, what different companies or different institutes do? They search for such data online and they can get certain statistics certain information regarding the functioning of our economy since the past 5-4 years and they can compute the data and use it for analysis right so this is how internet technology is useful in collection of secondary data and in the analysis of secondary data even if you carry any project related search you might find ready made projects online so what are they? They are already made by some students previously and they are put up online at times for free and at times for sale. Right? So such data can be found using internet technology and it is helpful in the study of economics. Now what are the different caution or things to remember while using internet for education, they are almost I guess, similar to the cautions while using computer because what they say is internet is not the tool but it inter internet is only a tool, it can not replace the work of study, it can not replace your books, right? Physical books, whatever knowledge you have learned till date is through learning through physical books the concept of online has evolved since past few years so whatever knowledge you currently have is due to the physical books that you have read or which you have understood right so the contribution of physical books might remain always more than what you can learn through online means or through internet right it is a tool it is it provides support in making of a project or compiling some data or making some analysis right so and a lot of substandard or inferior quality information is provided on the internet which you must be aware of before using such information and there are a lot of plagiarized articles plagiarized articles on the internet what is the meaning of plagiarism does anyone know it does anyone in the class know what does plagiarism mean 
Yes. Copying someone else. Yes. Copying the work of someone else, copying an activity or a work of someone else is the meaning of plagiarism. And certain plagiarized articles which are a copy of the original are provided online which might be fake and the information might be changed for certain purposes. So it is the wisdom or the skill of the students who are searching for such data right whether to identify that is it an authentic material that i am looking for or is it a plagiarized material which might be fake and which might not be useful for the study of economics so these are certain cautions or things you need to remember while using internet in the study of economics and the last concept is about data series. The last concept of this chapter is about data series. The full form of a CD is compact disc. Now what are such data series? Data series are series which contain statistical information statistical certain statistical information about the income and expense of the government about the population and different parameters they contain information about the unemployment or poverty right so for different topics you have different data series and there are different institutes which are into research and who are manufacturing such data series? There are certain research institutes who are manufacturing certain data series and they sell these data series in order to generate some income. So there are certain government agencies and private agencies into the business of providing data series. Now, why is a series so prevalent in such a digital age? Because it is possible that the CD is completely encrypted so that no one else can copy the work, can copy the data of a CD from one computer to another. Or you have to use the CD every time. You cannot copy the data from the CD in your computer. Otherwise, what our people will do? One person is going to purchase the CD and he is going to provide such data to everyone else free of cost. So it is possible in online means, right? If our friends uh, have subscribed for Netflix, then we all are using the same account for viewing Amazon Prime videos or Netflix videos, right? So similarly the concept applies here. Why data series is so prevalent even in today's age? When it is a digital age, you can find some material online or you can purchase the material online. So there are different departments who are making these series. The name of some few departments are CD of national income accounts. So there are different series that are manufactured and some of the series are CD of national income accounts of India. It contains information about the income, the total income of the country, individual income, right? And particular state-wise distribution of the income of the country is mentioned in this CD. Now, CD of Census of India. So, it contains information about the demographic, demographic characteristics of a population that uh, how many people are educated, how many people are into a job or they are self-employed and how many people are unemployed, how many people are living below the poverty line, right? All such information is provided in the CD of Census of India, CD of Annual Survey of Industries. There might be a survey industry-wise if you want to know about textile industry or if you want to know about IT industry, then what are the growth uh, areas or what are the areas that need certain improvements or how many employees are working currently in the IT industry. Such information is provided in the CD. 
सीडी ऑफ नेशनल सैंपल सर्वे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सीडी ऑफ डेटा पर्टेनिंग टू एनी मिनिस्ट्री इन इंडिया विच आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द स्टैटिस्टिकल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रिस्पेक्टिव मिनिस्ट्री सो इफ यू वांट टू नो अबाउट एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री राइट इफ यू वांट टू नो सर्टेन अबाउट द यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री देन सच डेटा इज पुट इनटू सच सीरीज व्हिच यू नीड टू बाय व्हिच यू नीड टू परचेस for knowing the statistic information then there is an agency named center for monitoring indian economy center for monitoring indian economy now this agency creates data software so which means that you can find the material or statistical data online this is an institute or an agency who is providing statistical data online and for that you need to pay some amount and these these kind of data series and such online material is purchased by research institutes or big corporations why so because the data is so expensive the cost of one series might be anywhere in thousands or lakh rupees right and the problem the problem turn your page page number 12 the problem or difficulty in using such data series is that a cd can contain limited information a maximum of 4.7 gb data can be stored on a particular cd so if the data is say of 20 gb or 40 gb then you need to make multiple series in order to incorporate the data onto a disk and everyone those who purchase such series needs to store these series for a longer time period which is very difficult even if there is one scratch on a cd then it becomes useless and you need to purchase them again because the data cannot be copied from one cd to another right otherwise this would happen right so this is the main difficulty in using series and there is there is a certain method or a format for searching data in these series because it is not very easy to search for data इन सच सीरीज एक वक्त तब सी डी इंस्टॉल कर लीधी है तब ओपन कर लीधी है ये अंदर मल्टीपल सेक्शन हे देर विल बी मल्टीपल सेक्शन मल्टीपल पेरामीटर्स ऑर स्टेट वाइज सीटी वाइज डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाइज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डेटा तो तेरे जो डेटा सर्च करवो है यी स्किल होइए राइट इफ यू आर शॉपिंग ऑन फ्लिपकार्ट और एमेजोन दे आर सेलिंग लैक्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स बट वॉट यू डू वॉट एवर यू वोट टू परचेज यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर दिट पर्टिक्युलर थिंग तो सिमिलरली सीडी माइट कंटेन अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा एमाथी तुम्हारे जे वस्तु काम में लेवानी छे तो ये वस्तु सर्च केवी रीते करवी इनो पण एक मेथड होय छे इनी पण एक स्किल होय छे के जे अगर तुम्हारे पास होय तो यू कैन सर्च डेटा फास्टर नहीं तो बहुत टाइम कंज्यूमिंग बनी जसे राइट सो दीस आर सर्टेन डिफिकल्ट थिंग्स व्हाइल यूजिंग अ सीडी नाउ uh one topic on page number 7 <coughs> is yet unexplained which is aspects to be considered while drawing a bar diagram we have already discussed the aspects to be considered while drawing a graph or a diagram but these aspects are particularly for a bar diagram which are yet to be discussed in the class so quickly we will uh, understand them and if you have pencils or pen then you can underline certain words which i am going to tell you now first is the width of the bars does not represent any data and hence all the bars should be of equal width you have to underline the word all bars should be of equal width i have already mentioned earlier that the width of the bar this width of the bar does not represent anything and all the bar should be of equal width the height will be corresponding to the values but the width should be same 
the length of the respective bar should be proportional the length should be proportional to the values that they are representing right if in either standard there are 50 students then the bar should be as tall as it reaches the number 50 and if in standard 12 there are 80 students then the bar should be taller than this one it should represent 80 numerically and graphically now third is the distance between the bars should be equal underline this word the distance between the bars should be equal and the distance between the first bar and the origin the first bar and the origin should also be the same as the distance between two bars is now for this all the bars rest on the same line yes all the bars rest on the same line whatever bars that we have drawn are resting or coinciding with x axis right all the bars resting on x axis with the help of computer technology nowadays you can also make horizontal bars these were the vertical bars that we used to make you can also make such horizontal bars using computer technology but they are not very frequently used these prove to be very simple in order to understand or uh, visualize last point says that all vertical bars should be arranged from left to right in order of the data series so you always have to start from the left and go rightwards while arranging the data for different time periods or different uh, components of the variable this is how you have to make a diagram you start from the left and you go rightwards if you have been given the years 2015 to 2020 then the first bar that you uh, draw should represent the data or values of 2015 then 16 17 18 19 20 you should go it like this right this is what this topic means to say about this is extremely extremely simple you underline the word arrange from left to right arrange from left to right 